Hey everyone, I'm so glad you're here today. My name is Jet. Everyone calls me Jet because I'm always on the go, jetting around the world and traveling to new and exciting places. I was just packing my backpack and getting ready to head on another adventure. Would you like to go on an adventure with me? Yes! Great, well, let's get to packing. The first thing I always pack is my favorite stuffed animal. I can't leave it behind. Let me see you pretend to hug your stuffed animal. Good job. And I can't forget to pack some books to keep me busy while I travel. I can take three books, so count with me as I put them in my backpack. One, two, three. Perfect. And I still have room for fun souvenirs to bring back home. One of my favorite things to do when I travel is to take pictures of the places I go. Do you want to see some of the pictures I've taken? Yes! Okay! One time, I went all the way across the big ocean to England to see castles where kings and queens live. And I've been to Africa to see tall giraffes roaming the plains. Last summer, I got to go to New York City and see all the tall buildings and the Statue of Liberty herself. I love taking pictures of the places I go and the people I meet. Do you like to take pictures of the things you see? Yes! Whenever we see a camera pop on screen like this, we should take a picture. Everyone hold up your camera and say, click, click. You've got it. Travel Buddies, I think we're ready to go. Stand up and sing with me. on it. Travel Buddies, do you know what this is a picture of? A boat! That's right! It is a boat! That must mean we're going to ride a boat here in the Amazon rainforest. Now, do you know what we call a person who drives a boat? Is it a pilot or a captain? A captain! You know it! Let's all wave and say, oh captain! Oh, oh captain. captain! All aboard! Look, it's the camera. Let's take a quick picture of the captain. One, One two, two, three. Click. Hello, Jet. It looks like you and your travel buddies are ready to set sail on an adventure. While we're on the go, you need to follow the two rules. The first rule is to be kind. Jet, can you and your travel buddies say, be kind? Be kind. That's it. You can be kind by listening when others are talking. 
If you can be kind by listening, let me see you click on your listening ears with me. Click, click. You got it. Rule number two is to be safe. You can be safe by keeping your hands and feet to yourself. If you can be safe, let me see you clap, clap, clap. Put your hands in your lap. Let's do it together. Clap, clap, clap. Put your hands in your lap. We're all set to go. Today we're going to travel to a beautiful place God made. It's the Amazon rainforest. There will be all kinds of plants and animals you may have never seen before. So be sure to have your cameras ready to take pictures. There's also a special souvenir to remind you of how much it rains there. Let me know when you find it. Now, what are we waiting for? Let's set sail and get on the go. Let me see you move your arm like the waves under our boat and repeat after me. On the boat. On the boat. We will float. We will float. On the boat. On the boat. On the go. On the go. Have fun taking pictures and don't forget to find your special souvenir. We made it! Thanks, Captain. Traveling to a rainforest is so much fun. The captain was right. This place is beautiful. Travel buddies, there's the camera. Let's take a picture of all we see. One, two, two three, click. Wow, I've never traveled to a place like this with so many colorful flowers. On the count of three, let's all pretend to smell these amazing flowers. One, two, three. Ah, they smell so good. Travel Buddies, do you know who made the beautiful flowers? God. That's right. There are a lot of things God made that we can see. But what can we hear? I can hear birds and frogs. Hmm, but there's something else I hear. What do you think it is? I hear rain. Of course, we are in the rainforest. Travel Buddies, let's look around to see if there's a special souvenir that sounds like the rain falling from the sky. Hmm, maybe it's a rock. Do you see a rock? You found it. Does a rock make a sound like rain falling? No. No, you're right. Rocks don't sound like falling rain. Hmm, let's keep looking. What about a flower? Do you see a flower? You found it. Do you think that this flower sounds like falling rain? No. Hmm, what about this stick? Whoa, did you hear that? This stick actually sounds like rain falling. This must be our special souvenir. Let's call the captain and show him what we found. On the count of three, let's all shout, Oh, Captain! One, two, three! Oh, oh captain. captain! Hello, travel buddies. I see you found the rain stick. It's a special souvenir you can take with you to remind you of all of the rain that falls and makes the rainforest so beautiful. You know, God has different names that remind us of who he is. One of the names for God is Lord. That's because God is in charge of everything we see including rain. We know this because in the beginning of time, there was nothing. Everything was dark. Travel buddies, can you close your eyes really tight? The only thing you see is darkness when your eyes are closed. That's how it was before God made the world. Okay, you can all open your eyes again. Because God is powerful, he made everything we see just by speaking. On the first day, he said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good. And so he made day and he made night. On day two, God made the sky and he made the water. On day three, God made plants and trees grow up out of the earth because he knew that we would need them. On the fourth day, God made two great lights for the sky. Travel buddies. What is the name of the bright light we see in the daytime? The sun! Yes, 
And what is the big light that's in the sky at nighttime? The moon! You got it! On day five, God made animals that fly in the sky and swim in the sea. The next day, day six, God made the animals that live on land and all the other animals here in the rainforest. But day six was a special day because that's when God made people. He loves us more than anything else he made and he is in charge of our lives. Oh, let's take a picture to remember how much God loves us and that he is in charge. One, two, three, click. Good job, travel buddies. God loved everything he made. Then on day seven, God rested. God has always been and will always be in charge of the world and the people he made. That's why we call him Lord. Now let me hear you say this after me. God is. God is. My Lord. My Lord. That's it. You can remember God is your Lord every time you play with your special rain stick souvenir from the Amazon. Thank you, Captain. Wow, God has been and will always be in charge of everything. I think I can remember what the captain taught us. Let me hear you say this after me. God is. God is. My Lord. My Lord. You've got it. This rainforest adventure has been so much fun. And we've taken some really amazing pictures. Let's look at what we have so far. Oh, look, we took a picture of the beautiful rainforest. Who made all the flowers and trees that we've seen here? God. You know it. Let's look at our next picture. Ooh, this is a picture from the Bible story we heard today. Who is in charge of the world and everything in it? God. Yes, God made everything and he's in charge of it all. I think we took one more picture. Let's see. This is a picture of the captain. The captain taught us that since God is in charge of everything, we can call him our Lord. If you know that's what we learned today, then say this after me. God is. God is. My Lord. My Lord. See, we all know God's name. He is our Lord. Let's stand up and sing a song to celebrate.
before you go, let me hear you say what we learned here in the rainforest today one more time. Repeat this after me. God is. God is. My Lord. My Lord. That's it. I hope you have so much fun on the go, and I can't wait to take another adventure with you next week. Bye-bye.